Hey guys, Steve Blair. Today we got a look at the Transformers, as you can see there on the screen. New content dropping today. We got commanders, we got ship skins, flags, patches. So as a community contributor, they've uh, nestled all that into my account here. I'm going to show you guys what we have available. Uh, looks pretty cool to me, but uh, as always, you can judge for yourself. How you get them, you go to the store over here. Uh, you can get these individual crates, or looks like this is kind of the guaranteed everything. So you can randomize it, or however you want to do it. As always, you can go to wowslegends.com slash containers. Check out the odds of whatever happening You know when you get these. Looks like you got some missions here you can get as well. So you guys can check that out. Of course, uh, having them give it to me, then I don't have to deal with that aspect of it, which is nice. Uh, checking out the patches. Let's see what we got here. Symbols, presumably. Let's see, nothing over there. Uh, let's see, what do we go? Oh, here we go. Yep, we got uh, Autobot, Transformers, and Decepticon. So those are the patches. Let's see, what else do we got here? Commanders, why don't we save the commanders for last? Let's go to the ships. I already got them set up here and favorited so we can check them out. First up, Fletcher. Now it says you can, I put the flag on one of them here. Yeah, we got this flag here. So the flags, you got Decepticons, Autobots, and then I think it already comes with one. You can see main man, yellow dude on the front there just hanging out, but you see if we put the flag on one, now we got a double flag situation. So I think they come with one, and then if you want to put those flags on other ships in your fleet, of course, you can do that as well. Um, but if we wanted to put, say, uh, let's put uh, the duck flag on to show everyone how good we are at the game. That's what it would look like there. Uh, this guy up front, I don't know if he actually stands there during the fight or what, but the turrets look pretty sweet. You can see he's got a chair on that second turret there. Oh, what's going on? Looks like he's getting riled up about something. Uh, but yeah, I'm assuming when the game's actually going, he's sitting in that chair. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty sweet there. Let's see what else. Iowa's the next one. There we go. All right, so we got this little guy over here. Now he doesn't look as big because the uh, I was a much bigger ship, but I'm assuming they're all the same size in terms of robots. Turrets. Those got some nice laser effect. Oh, what do we got going on? Oh, he's got an axe. All right, so if you get too close, to that guy he might give you a little chop. Looks like he's got a chair again in turret two. Oh, let's see, what else we got here? This looks like some damage on the side of the ship. I don't know if he's a little... Yeah, it looks like got shot with some plasma rays or something. Yeah, I don't know. That one looks pretty, pretty baller all around. Uh, what else we got here? Bismarck. Eesh. Alright, so we got the uh, German transformer on front there, whatever that guy's name is. Purple turrets look pretty baller. Uh, you can see the secondary is painted white. Lots of lifeboats. I don't know if the Bismarck always has lifeboats, but that's pretty good because this ship doesn't stay afloat for very long. So that'll let your crew get off, save you a little bit of service cost at the end of the match. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty sweet here. Does this guy do anything? Oh, yeah. Yep, he just kind of. Oh, okay. Alright. That's the Biz. Tashkent. We got this guy. I don't I haven't seen any Transformers since like 80, 88 probably at the latest. Maybe 89. So that guy's got a chair. Turret 2 again. Looks like they all sit on turret 2. Mm, yeah, that looks pretty sweet. Little red laser action on those turrets. I don't know if this guy does anything or not. Uh, oh, oh, 
this guy's got extra guns. All right, so the Tash can... <laughs> I don't know if we need more firepower on that ship, but if you take that guy off, you might pull out an extra gun. So those are the ship camos. Pretty solid there. Commanders. Well, the... You know, you get the corresponding commander. So this yellow guy is Bumblebee. I put him up to level 6 each. That's the highest you can get him without putting in promotion orders. Eventually, we'll probably level up some of these. Base trade for Bumblebee. Increase the duration of the engine boost consumable. I can think of a couple lines, French, Japanese, that I might think about putting that one on there. It looks like a uh, pretty standard uh, Halsey build to me. You got Twist and Track, which is always great. Uh, this is kind of the unique perk here. Calculated inversion. Drastically improve rudder shift time and boost acceleration while the smoke generator is working. Make the smoke screen dissipate faster. So, American smoke's very nice. They already have very long durations, so the, dis the dispersion time isn't necessarily horrible. It's probably bringing it down to about the regular duration for the other nations. Uh, but think about it. If you're getting 40% more speed... That means you can really stretch that cloud out. So I'm kind of envisioning this for division play where either a two-man, three-man division, you got the destroyer leading the way, fire this engine boost up, fire the smoke generator up, and then you leave this huge trail for your division mates to kind of play around in, and then you can go ahead and spot for them, and they'll just rain down terror. So that one was interesting to me. I, I don't know, again, how... It, Strong, I would think of that as a solo player, which I primarily am, just because I don't usually put the smokes down for my teammates. Once in a while we will, but usually I'm using those for my own purposes. Autobot Optimus Prime. This is the American Battleship Commander. His base trait reduced the reload time of repair party consumable, going up by point or going down by point three per level. So that's not too bad. Cycling through the repair party. Uh, looks like primarily a Lee build over here until we get to this. Reduce the duration of fire on your ship and decrease spot or reload time. Now, fire duration, of course, Battleship's main complaints these days, Battleship players, is getting burned to death and uh, anything that can mitigate that. You're going to be welcome. So it looks like you can get a 20% reduction at level, what is it, level 11 Legendary 1, which isn't that hard to get, frankly. Uh, spotter reload time. Also interesting if you want to combine that with Arthas, anyone who got this thing. This is the one where damage your battleship causes while the catapult fighter is up 20%. So I'm just thinking about maybe pairing that together. Uh, oh, this is a spotter reload, so that actually doesn't work. Spotter is different than catapult. Oh, uh, well, yeah, the spotter. I mean, those of you that watch me know I <laughs> forget to use the spotter pretty much as a rule, but for everyone else who's not uh, mentally deficient like I am, that's probably pretty strong. You can get to, uh, what is that, 7%. So we're looking at a 30% reduction on spotter reload time and fire duration 20%, again, at level 11 legendary one. That's actually a pretty strong perk there, so we'll go ahead and select that right off the bat. Pretty interested in those guys. Uh, who else do we got here? Decepticon Megatron. This is a German battleship commander. Base trait, increase the main battery range of your battleship. Eh. Alright. Not going to say anything about that one. Uh, the build looks to be the same over here. Yeah. 15. Yep. So that's kind of the same perk. That is what it is. I mean, we got German battleship commanders up the wazoo, and I keep maxing all, all of them, so... <laughs> He's going to be fairly low priority for me, but that doesn't make him a bad commander. Uh, Rumble, Decepticon Rumble. Increase the main battery range here, Destroyer. This one I thought would work out great for the Soviets, because that's kind of the one main drawback. I think they need to add some range to the Soviets to begin with. Maybe they'll add that tweak in general, but putting this on there is not going to hurt either. And then it looks... Alright, so you got this. You can, can potentially combine this with like a Vian, have a really strong incoming dispersion perk. Looks like we got the same smoke option here. Keep in mind the Soviet smoke duration, base duration, is not nearly as long as the Americans. So that's going to 
really cut into that. I don't know if I'd use that as um, enthusiastically. No twist and track, which is always a problem. But we do have the AP pen here. We got this perk, which is pretty strong. Uh, so overall, I mean, that one's mildly interesting because of this. I don't know. I prefer twist and track whenever possible, so I'll probably stick with troops on the Soviets. But we could consider using his inspiration. So we got the commanders. We got, we've got. looked at the skins, looked at the flags, the patches. I think that's pretty much everything. So again, if you're interested in that, you can go to the store here. It's a hefty price for everything. Uh, but the crates will give you contains a variety of goods, chance to get Transformer Commander. So they gave me some of these. Uh, they gave me five. I opened them <laughs> before I made the video, unfortunately. But I think I got one Commander, one set of seven promotion orders, um, some of these uh, Transformer skins, which it was saying like ten of them. So I don't know if it's... If those are all permanent or if you have to combine those if you have to combine them I think you need 12 skins to combine into a permanent so you probably need to get a couple pulls on the skins there and yeah so I mean it is what it is if you want to go the crate route if you want to go the guaranteed route to get everything and then you just probably pony up the dough and get this you can see here that's pretty much everything you get some more of these skins you get the missions down here so lots of new stuff with that uh, hopefully that preview gave you guys an idea of what to expect if you're interested in that uh, I always try and make your guys' buying decisions as easy as possible for you so that's a look at the transformer update for you guys hope you did enjoy it if you did please hit the thumbs up if you're new to the channel consider subscribing lots of world of warships coming all the time questions comments leave them below love to hear from you guys and we'll see y'all later peace